analysts just reading through the notes today, highlighting just the sky high valuation and perhaps maybe wanted more out of the outlook. What do you say to them? Well, I'll say we're, we're very happy with our quarter. We, we're super happy with the year and, you know, even more optimistic about what's, came, what's coming next. I would say, you know, I, I don't pay too much attention to the stock going up and down a few, a few percent, you know, every other day. I think that's part for the course when you when you have really high growth. But overall, I, I will say our, our stock is, uh, is up a lot in the past year and even since the beginning of the year. And I think uh, judging by the pace of change in a digital transformation and, and cloud migration, I think we're very optimistic about what's coming next. Talk to me about what's coming next because Rosenblatt Securities was talking about your emphasis on R&D and maybe squeezing profits in the near term, but really opening up a broader opportunity for growth down the line. How are you thinking about that mix between R&D spend versus profitability? Yes, yeah, so you know we actually had a very good year in, 2000, in 2020 for profitability. Uh, we grew 66% through the year with 14% in free cash flow, which I think in a way it's hard to ask for more than that. Um, the business is not any different. I think we could be profitable uh, quite a bit if we, if we so wished, but we are at the very beginning of what's a very large opportunity. You know, the whole world, like companies big and small, are moving uh, to, from legacy IT to public and private cloud. And we're investing to capture as much of that market as possible. So the truth of it is, this year, we're planning to hire as much as we can without breaking the company, basically, so that we can <laughs> uh, capture that market. Is that more of an international market? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. You know, it's in the U.S. And, you know, what's really interesting is one thing we've seen this year uh, with the, uh, the pandemic is that, of course, there, was a, a, there were a lot of success stories that you would expect, you know, such as, for example, our customers in, in streaming or in video games or, you know, in a e-commerce that did really well and, and grew a lot and, and grew a lot with us. But perhaps more surprisingly, we also saw customers in industries that were you know, really impacted by COVID uh, that also embarked in the transformation and cloud migration. You know, I'm thinking of airlines, mm -hmm. amusement parks, hotel, hotel chains, and the companies that are really you know, in the tough spot right now where that understand they need to, modern, to modernize basically. Have so they... what this means is you know, there's a very large opportunity, uh, opportunity ahead of us and, and you know, we, we want to go after it. Yeah, have some of those companies indicated to you that TechSpan is going to come back really strong when it can? Uh, well, as far as we're concerned, like we're where the, the spending is going, right? We're in the next generation, we're in the cloud, we're where the investment is being made and, and the part of the stack is growing very fast. So there was never a concern for us that you know, this was going to compress and go away. I think what's fascinating about the growth of your company, and analysts are highly highlighting that, of companies with annual recurring revenue of more than a million dollars has grown to 97 in your company from just 50 a year ago. What is the focus? What can we expect from you on a focus of companies with 100,000 of recurring annual revenue going up now to at least a million? Yeah, you know what's really interesting is in this new world, the cloud world, the cloud world uh, the developers that work in small companies and small start startups actually use a lot of the same tools as the developers that work in, in the very largest you know, Fortune 500 organizations. And we actually serve that whole spectrum. We serve customers that are at the very low end of that, even you know, customers that don't pay us any money, students, individuals. And we also serve the largest organization that pay us millions or even more you know, every year. And so as far as we're concerned, we're growing everything. We're, we're serving the developers. And I would say they're equally uh, distributed in all of those categories. You also recently announced an agreement to acquire, I believe it's Screen, a security platform. We've all really been focused on security. How does this help you push forward to the future, given how much security has become an increased focus? Yes, definitely. I mean, security is on everybody's minds right now. What's really interesting about Screen is that what the, what the company focuses on is application security. And when you think about it, uh, we're all using more and more applications. Uh, more and more of our data is being manipulated by those applications. And so these applications are getting more and more complex and more and more of them are being de uh, developed. But at the same time, it's really, really hard to secure them as they're getting more complex. I mean, the developers that build them, they have a hard time of understanding how the applications even work. So it's even harder to secure them. What's really interesting there is that what we do for a living already at Datadog is we help our customers, developers, understand what their applications are doing, how they're working, and basically tame the complexity for them. So this is really a logical next step for us. And that we understand the application, we make it easier for them to understand them, then we help them protect the applications and secure them.
Would we expect more acquisitions like this in the future? Potentially. I mean, we've announced two yesterday. We've done a few last year. Uh, you know, we have a very large market ahead of us and a very large problem space we can solve for our customers. And so some of that you know, we'll solve ourselves by you know, hiring engineering teams and building products and spending the years it takes to learn a market. And in some other cases, when we can, we will accelerate and acquire and, and leapfrog basically that whole category.